Somebody once noticed and found it very funny that after after I drunk a pint of beer, my speech slowed down, and every pint after that it slowed down more and more and more. It was just like I was stacking sacks, which is what I, which is what I did for a job at the time. And yeah, we did um, first two hours uh, four tons an hour, and then it was slowly, slowly slowed down slowly, and what three tons, two tons, and well, there was only one day I did fourteen hours. I wasn't supposed to. They were sent somebody from from the crew. And all I really did in there was. Um, put tops onto yogurt cartons and cream cartons and stuff like that. They literally, they're on a turntable. You had to be fast, but they literally just put them on like that. It was, I think it was air, con, air conditioned because there was butter and stuff and cream in there. Where I worked, it was powder. And um, yeah, I was um, stood right next to the, well, working right next to the boiler house. There was a fan kept, the fan cooled the boiler house. And the bloke I worked with kept switching it off, but he got into trouble because, um, I don't know what I really, because it was flipping up with that on. I mean, it, it, the, the boiler, didn't do the central heating, it was to dry the milk powder. The milk, yeah, it dried five tons an hour, more than we could stack an hour. So if we went in one day on a morning, there was two silos above us, one would have 25 tons in. And we could hear the, there was these motors, that little motors that started big motors, and they used to howl. And you knew when you had them, you could be, you could have a long day. Because obviously they'd started making more powder, and there's already 10 hours worth in 25 tons. And then you'd have to um, carry on until. Well, most days it would, we'd stop after 12, 12 hours. They'd maybe do five tons in the night because they, they, they had to have the door shut, the main, the, the steel door shut, outside, uh, the main steel door shut to keep, for stop people getting in because they could be injured, you know. If somebody, some, well, they didn't really have protesters then, but if, if somebody had wandered in and into that place, they could have been badly injured because there was chemicals you shouldn't mix and stuff. One, one day one of the, I think it was one of the charge owners of farmers did it by accident, so I heard, and he gave up chlorine, and they had to get the fire brigade in breathing if apparatus because he'd gone unconscious because of it. He was lucky because it'll kill the light. It um, turns into hydrochloric acid in your lungs and it just burns your lungs away. He was lucky, really, but uh, yeah, they had to get the fire brigade in with breathing apparatus to, 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 to get him out. But yeah, I mean, it, obviously, they didn't want anybody in there who didn't know what they were doing.